Um, hello everyone. Um, this is uh, Reviewing Studios. Um, today I'm just going to show you a um, quick uh, video of uh, StarCraft 2. This is um, sort of a tutorial of the Protoss Dark Templar guide. <clears throat> so, um, I play Protoss here and I'm playing against this dude who is also pro toss. Um, this strategy works for the most part only with pro toss versus pro toss. At least that's how I uh, have experienced it. It's much harder against Zergen. And uh, the point is that Terrans can, uh, of course, just scan the area and then find your Dark Templars and then you're easily getting them killed by marines and marauders or whatever they build um... but and with Zerg you have the overseers which any good or decent uh... uh... player would uh, get an overseer and have one on each expansion um... anyway so the reason why it works very well against Protoss is because a Protoss usually goes 4 gate or 3 gate with some upgrades and then get 4 gate later. Um, and then they don't get the robotics bay. And from the robotics bay, uh, you get the um, scouting, uh, the observer, which can detect uh, ground, uh, underground and stealth units. Um, and that's basically because they go for you. So, a uh, uh, this is why it's very good because if they if you then kill them with dark templars, they usually will quickly get um, observers. But then they have to make that building, um, which is robotics bay, which takes time, and then you can just kill uh, kill the pylon or the building itself. Um, so how you uh, execute this strategy is basically that you get a pylon at 9 which is this you get a a sim a, a gateway at 12 which is this uh, and a simulator at 14 and you see at the moment I'm of F16 and I should be getting a cybernetic score here's the cybernetic score if you if you will see at my opponent he just got two pylons. This is very unusual. So I don't know how good it is that I show you this video because it won't. I don't think it's the best tutorial um, guy that I'm playing against, but we'll take it as it is. Um, he started up with getting a lot of assimilators. He got two assimilators, which. Um, I don't see very many people that does that. Usually people get a one pylon and one assimilator, then a gateway, or they get um, the or then they get the um, pylon, gateway and an assimilator. Uh, but that's not not how you do it. Um, w then you get a cybernetic score sixteen and another pylon when you need it, I use, I like to take it at 16 or 17 uh, then you don't get the delay so then at 22 again you will get the warp gate research um, sometimes I do it quicker if my, and that is if you when you scout your opponent which you see I'm doing here if you see that your opponent has a lot of uh, troops I like to get the uh, warp gate faster um, and then of course get a uh, stalker out so when they scout you you can uh, kill that easily um, also uh, when doing this strategy you want to have them at these key locations uh, at these cell naga towers um, then you see when they come I don't do it in this video but it's, it really helps um, so then you get your second gateway at 27 
Uh, I haven't come that far yet. I'm still at 25. Uh, then at 29, you get a Twilight Council. And you see here, I have a lot of minerals. And that is, I'm not a very good Protoss player. Usually, um, I should have expanded. I should have gotten maybe a Forge. Uh, since I have a lot of minerals and not so much Vespin gas. But I should have gotten that. Um, that might have been a good idea. Um, so, second gate we're at 27, Twilight Council at 28. You will see that come down very shortly. Uh, at 29, you get a gateway again. And at 35, you get a dark shrine, which is where you, that's when you can get um, a, a dark templar. I get that delayed because a usual thing is to get a pylon about here and then you put the dark shrine sort of up in here that's so that uh, your opponent usually won't see that you have uh, it and then can prepare for it so I like to take it there I don't I fail at it uh, quite badly unfortunately um, I apologize for that it basically delays. Um, as you see, I get a lot of minerals. It's pretty good because um, when you get more warp gates or gateways, I mean, uh, you can um, get more zealots and you don't have to wait a lot to get units. Uh, yeah, and at 36 again, you get your fourth uh, gateway. So you basically get four uh, gateways. And then from there, you get some Dark Templars. So, that's my third gateway coming down. I should be getting uh, um, Warp Gate soon. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's see. He gets Photon, photon Cannons. And he also gets Stargate. Um, and the unfortunate thing about stargates is that they can get phoenixes that lift off your units though they can also get void rays which are pretty dangerous of course at the moment i get some uh, i get some stalkers i usually like to go with dark templars and some stalkers in case they get some air, um, air units which is pretty good because if he gets if he now gets void race then I can kill it also you see that here as I said is the dark shrine and here is also the gateway so we we should be executing this strategy pretty good so from now on, it's basically units, 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 units. Which isn't very hard. Just remember that um, warping out units has a little delay. So when the delay is over, you need, or you should at least, it's really good if you then get uh, more units out. And the thing about this guy is that instead of getting units and getting a four gate he uh, he gets a stargate and he also up upgrades his units which is um oh I actually get the Selenar guitar oh I didn't realize I didn't think about that um well he upgrades his units instead of actually getting gateways which you see this is his second gateway and I'm at four uh, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty much over him at the moment. I am I'm far beyond him um, And I, as you can see I have a lot more income than him. I have a lot more probes than him uh, Let's see what else we can get. I, uh, I have a lot of more probes. I have two Dark Templars eight stalkers You can see that he doesn't do very well so I send in uh, this stalker just to see what he's got and I realized that it has the stargate but I realized that 
he does not produce anything at the moment and if he was um, producing something I would have probably been more cautious because after all this is a strategy game and you can't be like you need to you can't go for one strategy constantly the game games are different people are different strategies are different so one challenge might work for someone at someone it might not work for the other so really don't be cautious so I've warped out one two three four five six seven I have seven dark templars and I have uh, six um, stalkers as you can see I don't have the blink upgrade I don't find it and now he gets phoenix he gets phoenixes uh, it's too late he also gets a dark shrine it's very delayed if you wanted to do the uh, same thing as me unfortunately um, so just a little push and I always send these stalkers in first to see if he actually uh, has units so the dark templars they was they were sent on the they were sent on the um, pylon and then the first the falcon cannon nice because cannons can find or they can stealth or they can find stealth units which means that it would um, make my dark sh uh, dark templars um, you could see them and then all his units could see them as well so with his with my stalkers I kill that I with my dark templars I take out most of the pylons and also his workers then he's basically screwed since none of us has a and none of us has an expansion so you don't have to worry about that dark templars are very strong they're actually quite ridiculous so I took out the other pylon now he can't do anything I said GG he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't resign either I send some more dark templars in also when you when you attack with this you want to get a stalker now probe and then get a pylon so you can warp in easily here and then con continuously push him uh, that's how basically you execute a four gate very much uh, better as well. So that was the game. As you can see, I barely lost any units. Let's see, that's the wrong one. Produce. I lost four units. That was um, two stalkers and two of um, the dark templars. That is um, probably because um, of the falcon cannon. Um, and so basically, Palan at nine, Gateway at twelve, a similar at fourteen, Cybernetic score at sixteen, a similar at eighteen again, Warp Get Research at twenty two, tw at twenty seven you get your second gateway, at twenty eight you get your Twilight Council, at twenty nine you get another gateway, and at thirty five you get a Dark Shrine. And again, at 36, you get your last uh, 